how to edit a navigation bar in Canva website. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to add a navigation bar and make some editing to it. So it is very easy and very simple. All you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you're going to be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to head over to canva.com, sign in for an account and here we have the platform. Now, what I am going to do is to select a website that I have or we can create one. So basically we are going to type in on the search bar of Canva website like that and click on enter. So we are going to see here our designs or our modified designs or created ones and we are going to see the templates. If you want, go ahead and choose a template or we can go ahead and select our design. So I'm going to select my design and click on edit. Now you're going to see the editor of Canva opening up. Now what I'm going to do is to close this, edit the design, and you're going to see this. Basically, this website doesn't have a menu. So we are going to add a menu. How we can add it or a navigation bar here, instead of menu, I'm going to use the term of navigation bar. So how we can add it, right there, we're going to see uh, that we have a space at the header. Now I'm going to add a navigation bar by adding some subheading. So we are going to add here, for example, home. I'm going to put it like this, make it a little bit smaller like that. Now we are going to duplicate that and make, for example, the second uh, item, uh, for example, about us, about us. We are going to put it here and we are going to put here a third one, the menu, for example. So let's duplicate this again. I'm going to put it as menu. So we are going to make this a little bit smaller and put it here at the top. Also, the pizza bite is going to be like this. So we are going to get here the menu. Now the fourth, uh, we are going to have here the fourth and the um, whether uh, the last one, which is going to be here. Uh, download or ebook. So we are going to put it here. Ebook, for example. Boom. Now we are going to place them together. So we are going to select them, click on the one item, press shift and select the others. We're going to put them just like that. If you want to put the navigation bar here or there, it is up to you. Or you can put them put it in the middle. So let's try and put it in here in the middle. I'm going to change the color here to something different. So maybe we are going to use the orange. I'm going to use maybe this. So what I'm going to do here is to put those, I'm going to put them here. I'm going to add an effect and that effect is going to be having a background. Or we can uh, here uh, set up the, not this background, but I'm going to remove basically that effect. So we are going to add here a navigation bar or a bar simply. So we're going, going to click on elements, click on shape. I'm going to choose this shape. So we are going to make it a little bit bigger. So it will fit uh, right there all the elements from here. We are going to change the color of it to white. And we are going to put our menu here. So basically we are going to put it like that. I'm going to make it here. I think that this is just perfect. Here we have it. Now what I'm going to do is to click uh, here uh, outside of the um, work page. Now let's start by adding or editing at this navigation bar. So the home is going to be linked to the first page. So we are going to click on this page, the first page, obviously. We're going to see here that we have notes or add notes button. Click on it and we are going to have here the page one as home. So we are going to name that page home. So it is named home. Now. The second page 
is going to be having a name and we are going to add this page title as here what do we have about us so we are going to select this about us so we have here the name of it now the third one is going to be menu we're going to select this the fourth one is the menu so we are going to ignore this or we can go ahead and add another page so basically what i'm going to do is to select the menu items put them here like that i'm going to make it a little bit longer here for example we are going to put this here menu there and the about us here the ebook or the uh, specified one that we have copied is going to be our ships for example boom now we are going to make uh, the spacing a little bit here so we are going to put it as the third one so here we have i've i've made some confusion but it is okay so it is not a big deal here now we are going to name the third one as ship or our ships shifts like that the fourth one is going to be here named menu and the last one is going to be named ebook why because it has the link to get an ebook or well, here for the pizza recipe now what i'm going to do is to click on each one of the elements from the navigation bar and link it to a page for example the home one we are going to click on more click on link and then we are going to scroll down and until we see pages in this document we're going to see the page names or the page titles we're going to link them just like that so as you can see the home has been underlined that means that it is linked the about us we're going to do the same thing click on more link here we are going to scroll down until we see pages in this document and do the same thing so basically i'm going to do this for all the pages i'm going to show you here for the last time and skip the other parts we're going to click on the chefs for example click on the three dots which is more click on link now we are going to click on chefs and here we have it now i have linked all the uh, as you can see here uh, the menu items so we are going to have them right there on the navigation bar now what can we edit or what can we add to the navigation bar right there so you can go ahead and add for example some let's say vector art or some uh, emojis or some graphics so we're going to click on here and add this so basically i'm going to change the color of this to something like that make it a little bit smaller and maybe you are going to put it here so we can make it a little bit bigger so basically we are going to put it here for our shifts is going to be having this so we are going to see here the details or maybe we are going to add this one and we are going to have the colors changed like that to this yellow and make it just like that put it in here so we can zoom in and put it however we want for example you can put this slice of pizza here and rotate it like this put it in here and this like that a little bit like this and boom for example just like that and this is how we can modify it basically you are going to put some elements link them and also you can add whatever you want from here some colors some elements some graphics or whatever so i'm going to continuously put these as simple designs like that so we are going to put it here just in case and go ahead and set up the corners if you want and this is going to be like this and the ebook is not going to be uh, set up as anything so now what i'm going to do is to publish the website 
but before I publish, I need to preview, set up the preview. So I'm going to publish here. So I have um, a quick things up. So we're going to see here the link. I'm going to click on preview. And here, if I want to click on about us, we are going to have it in here. We are going to get this page. If we're going to click on our chefs, you're going to see this page. And if I am going to click on ebook, it will take you down there to the ebooks. So basically right there. I'm going to let you see here something that we can add right there that will be very helpful to achieve right there the first page. So we are going to have here some, uh, let's say some elements and this element is going to be uh, like that. So I'm going to put it as white. So we are going to put it here. I'm going to put arrow, arrow. And then this arrow is going to be something shaped. So maybe you're going to put it like that. A little bit smaller. Need it a little bit smaller like that. So we are going to rotate it like this and I'm going to put it here. So this I'm going to uh, combine it with this group them together. So we are going uh, I'm going to ungroup that. So we are going to link them. This is the home page. So basically I am going to select these two, copy them, paste them in the different pages that we have here. So and now what I am going to do, I'm going to remove that from the first one, select here the arrow and link it to the home page. Put it home. I'm going to link it also to home. This one also do the same thing. I'm going to let you see here what is the benefit for doing that. For example, here we are going to click on link. Not this, but I'm going to put home. So here also link home. Boom. Now I'm going to click on preview. We are going to see the changes. Here we have the arrow. So whenever I click on the arrow, I get to the uh, first point, which is the home page. This. Boom. And this, how cool is it? So we are going to see here or get the access to the navigation bar at any point of the page to get them. Uh, that was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one.